Morning everybody, it's me. Um, very quickly, uh, thank you I dig it to Carl for identifying that as a nutcracker handle. Um, so, yeah, lovely. I've found uh, quite a few of these um, throughout the year. So, brilliant. Thanks very much. Uh, big thank you to all my um, subscribers and people that watch the video. And also, hello to new subscribers. Um, thank you very much. Uh, if you've got um, videos, uh, or if you put videos up, I will subscribe. Um, I try and watch them all, but, you know, uh, and try and comment on them all, but it's, you know, I've got a lot to watch, and, um, and they, they back up, so, um, you know, there's only so much time I've got in the evening. Um, now, today um, is the 11th of, the 11th, and that is Remembrance Day, and it's a Sunday. Um, so today I should be having a two-minute silence in respect of um, people that have fought in conflict throughout the world, um, from World War One, World War Two, and up to the present present day. Um, for those that know me, I live in Lincoln, which is not only um, a, a huge Roman settlement um, in itself, almost, but it's nicknamed Bomber County because we had so many bomber bases um, around here. We've 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 still got a lot, although they're not quite um, you know bomber bases anymore. We've got RF Waddington, which I'm not far from, RF Cranwell, uh, which is the flight training school, um, RF Collingsby, uh, where the typhoons are, and of course RF Scampton, the home of the Red Arrows. So to me, um, I'm proud of my her heritage. Um, you know, I grew up with, uh, I grew up on the flight line to RF Waddington. Um, so I had the Vulcan bomber flying over almost every single day, um, which was fantastic. And I do miss them so much. And of course, the last flying Vulcan, unfortunately, in 2013 will be its last year, um, simply because they've, it's not so much they've run out of money. The the engines, the um, they've, they've got no more engines. And of course, it needs a massive overhaul of the wing spar. I think I think that's right. And you know, it's money. So um, right, so that's that. Um, on with the show. Um, I'm going to go into a field which hopefully will produce something. Um, we'll show you. But at 11 o'clock, um, I will be having a two-minute silence, uh, and I shall film those two minutes. Um, you can even fast-forward it if you've already, you know. Um, given two minutes of respect um or you can just stand you know sit there and watch it all right thanks for watching uh let's go on with the show see what we can find oh don't you get these targets where you think oh yeah where is it oh is it no no it's just some sort of uh pin lock so ooh. i really am butterfingers aren't i uh, there you go, first target. It's, um, I don't know what it is, just some sort of thing. So, see what else we can get. Uh, next target, I don't know what that is. Um, no idea. Um, any ideas, anyone? It's just some weird bit of metal. Yeah, it's not Roman or anything like that, it's just, I don't know some Georgian thing or late nine, uh, 1900s something like that yeah right they trick you they do you think oh yeah it's a little Roman grot nope button well they are Jackie jet ski John 2006 your missus another button for her see what else we can get Gotta get, gotta get something better than that, surely. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this field, um, this field's full of iron. There's, oh, it's unbelievable. Um, and identifying the strong targets is, uh, is pretty tricky, but um, yeah, we'll do it. Uh, I've just dug something up here. I haven't, I haven't uh, uncovered it yet, but I thought I'd uncover it with you guys so you can see what it is first hand. Oh, is it? No. Oh, bloody hell. Another button, unfortunately. Ah, oh, well. There are, Jackie. <laughs> Damn, I'm going to stop saying that now. You know you're getting all my buttons, because I don't bloody want them. Unless you get one that's made of gold or silver or something like that. 
Okay, Let's see what else. Surely there's some coins in here somewhere. I am going to nickname this field the Button Field. There's another one, another pewter button. I mean, it's still interesting because you think, you know, how old is that button? Um, it's not massively old, but, you know, someone lost that button or they buried the coat in here. Um, and I'm the first person to pick it up, or find it, should I say. So, um, yeah, it's still nice. It's a find, isn't it? You know, um, would I really be happy if I was finding nothing but hammered silver coins all day long and nothing? Yeah, yeah, I would actually. <laughs> Right, I've just come back into the car, and as a mark of respect for those that have fought in conflicts around the world, there will now be a two minute silence. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, on with the detecting, I'm going to go to a different field now. See what we can find. Uh, I've just moved into another field, literally across the road from the one. Um, go out for a button. Very first target. Nice pattern on that. Um, broke, unfortunately. But um, again, pewter. So, um, yeah, lovely. Still a nice find. So, okay. We have got ourselves a ring. Now it looks copper, but um, there is some markings on there. Um, so uh, yeah, beautiful. Um, I wonder what that dates to then. Um, unfortunately, it's copper, so nothing precious. Um, but it's a ring, nonetheless. I'm. That is definitely. A ring someone would have worn um, on their hands, not one of these um, what's the name rings. So uh, lovely. I may have to see the um, fines liaison officer with that one. Um, see what he can make of it because um, it could be very very old. So um, lovely stuff. I think that is my twelfth ring in less than a year of metal detecting. So. Um, dropped it you know what I'm like um, so I'm pleased with that very very pleased it's a bit bent but who cares it's a ring it's lovely 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 right carry on looks like uh, looks like Jed I've caught his um, I've caught his compulsory iron ring disease <laughs> um, yeah look Got one yesterday and got another one today. Uh, this one's not as big as the other one. Um, but it's still a compulsory iron ring. Oh, don't want them. 
I don't do iron. <laughs> well, actually, I do sometimes, but you know what it's like. Oh, I'll carry on. I've got a cracking 42 signal on this, and now 42 normally gives me uh, two pence. Um, and he's right on the surface. I thought I'll, I'll live unveil it. Oh, it is. It. Oh, hello. What have we got? That's a coin. Um, let me move, get some sunlight on there. Uh, it's a coin. Wow, first coin of the day. Um, I have no idea what bronze or copper it is. Um, absolutely no detail. Um, it does look. It's about. Let's have a look. How big is that? Um, I'm wondering. If he, I'm wondering if it's a farthing. Um, oh well, don't know. I don't think we're going. If I clean that up, I don't think I'm going to get any detail off it. Um, but uh, there's a tiny bit of writing, I think, on the outside. Um, well, if I do find out what it is, I'll uh, I'll let you know. So, um, oh, lovely first coin. Right, guys, here ends the video. Um, I'm on the South Common in Lincoln. I just thought I'd come up here and do a bit of filming, just to show you the skyline. And there we go, a uh, lovely big cathedral. Um, right. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Look forward to your comments as always. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, good luck and happy hunting. It's out there, as Jed would say, and it is out there. You've just got to go slow and low and dig it. Right, catch you later, guys. Bye.